Hi Virgo, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If this is your first time here, I hope you like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. If you're returning Virgo, thanks so much for coming back. Um, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Virgo in your chart. I have a fan going back over there. That is the buzzing sound, but I wouldn't be able to do this reading if I didn't have a fan going. Though, thank God we are out of that heat wave. I hope you and your family are happy, healthy, and well. In Leo season, when I'm filming this, um, <clears throat> if this resonates, please give it a like. Um, and again, share it with someone who you think would be interested in checking out the channel as well. If it doesn't resonate, that's all right. Just go check out the other signs in your chart, your rising, your moon, your Venus, or if you have a bunch of one sign in your chart, like I have a bunch of Aries in my chart and that those readings sometimes resonate for me. <clears throat> um, whether this does or doesn't, if you still just go check out the other, so, the other readings, the ones that um, relate to your birth chart, just by viewing it, you're helping my little YouTube channel grow and um, I feel like an earth sun like Virgo would appreciate that I am working on this channel, doing all this build up work for um, getting to the point of being able to monetize my readings through YouTube or um, just take it to the next level here at YouTube. In the meantime, I am offering personal readings. You can email me at tarot at gmail.com. And if this resonates and you're just a fan of the channel, I greatly appreciate your support and donations at my Venmo and Cash App. Thank you so, so much, Virgo. And um, here we go. Because I have a pre-message and it's pretty specific. And there's a reason, there's always a reason and timing for every, everything. So I feel like maybe I'm speaking to a Virgo right now who needs this reminder. So right before I went to start this video, I hit 475 subscribers, woo hoo, like 25 away from 500 and I'm pretty sure I had said um, or said aloud that I would get into to 500 while uh, in the summer. A thousand is the goal because then it, you take it to the next level with um, YouTube, but I also need like 4,000 hours worth of people watching. So, um, that's why just putting it on and checking out the readings for your other signs are like really just beneficial for me, Virgo, and I appreciate your time. So, I hit 475 and I write down the number of subscribers so I can, on my calendar, so I can track like how much and where and when. I just, I, I've liked keeping track of it and I thought about like, Damn, Megan, you were celebrating the victories in the in the beginning that felt like such a huge freaking milestone. And now look at you. And I realized I had written down on my calendar the wrong freaking number. I wrote 275. I dipped myself 200 subscribers and I had to erase it and write back 475. And I went and I grabbed the cork from the little champagne um, that I had gotten myself, sorry, there's a hair, it feels like, I had gotten myself when I hit a hundred, whichever way it looks straight, <laughs> when I hit a hundred, I remember getting myself a little champagne and celebrating, and now I'm like, I'm at 475, and I'm not going out to get any champagne to celebrate, but I st started to think like, where I was when I had only a hundred subscribers months ago and what has happened and taken place in my life since then and I was like wow there's been a, a lot of change and maybe there's a um a Virgo out there who's had quite a bit of change and their like growth that um I, I guess basically the message was that someone should go back and look at how far they've come if you because in a tough when i was shuffling the cards and whatnot right before getting ready for virgo um 
one of my cards, well, a couple of my cards fell out, and as I went down to like grab them, my the wheel of my chair went over one of them and like scrunched it and ruined it and I knew I was gonna end up throwing it out but I'm like oh well, we gotta see what it says because of course this means something and it was in a tough spot place and as I reached down to get it I found a June bug I clean, believe you me. I'm like, I'm, t I'm sharing the real real over here and someone's gonna be like, oh, she found a dead bug on the floor. I'm like, well, it was in the corner over there. And just so happened to be, I went down to get this card and found this dead June bug. And uh, I knew what it was, if you don't know what it was. But I first was like, oh, it's a beetle. But then I was like, no, this is a June bug. And that has an actual month in it. So that's got to mean something, right? So I wrote down in a tough spot place and then a dead June bug. And I wrote down and what I was thinking, like, did something end in June? I even wrote down another example of um, needing to celebrate your small accomplishments, even if you're looking to get somewhere fast. I feel like it, th I feel like I'm in touch with a Virgo who has this dream of like Christmas morning in their house that they've had built from scratch on the plot of land that they've built, that they've bought. So they go out and they buy a plot of land that's beautiful. That's an accomplishment, but they don't celebrate that. What they do is they then go out and get plans and they have the plans drawn up, accepted by everybody and foundations are about to be poured but they still don't celebrate that and then the house is built and then they still don't celebrate that because their one vision is Christmas morning in this house and it's like until Christmas morning in that house happens that's when the Virgo feels full and satisfied so satisfied satisfied someone needs to be remembering to celebrate in the in the moment celebrate where you've where you're at how far you've come what you've been able to do I've seen the hermit card on my Instagram feed twice now in the past two days so maybe this is a heavy message for someone like celebrate the journey some stupid like lame ass quote like that like like celebrate the the present the moment you know what I mean like celebrate it now don't just have a what is that destination happiness in like whatever like you only until you get there or to this will you feel happy and fulfilled because guess what you never actually end up feeling fulfilled Christmas morning once you're in your house because you freaking sit there and realize I just wasted all that other and what do I look forward to now that's a message for somebody I also got something to going back to young actions um, maybe this is going back to a dream you had as a child <coughs> excuse me or something you wanted to accomplish when you were younger and you never got to and now you are but I also got the feeling of someone relieving stress or they're in whatever is in a tough spot or place and something ending in June some someone has been like returning to old specifically like like high school college age partying or getting high techniques that they haven't done in a long time I just saw someone, I don't even know how you do this, but someone doing a keg stand. They haven't done one in like 20 years. This is someone smoking out of a bong and they haven't smoked out of a bong in 10 years. Something like that. Returning to, maybe it was a coping mechanism when you were younger. Returning to like a young coping mechanism. This could be something with eating too because 
I do have another example of celebrating yourself here was a story about a woman who I knew lost a bunch of weight when I was like a teenager but she'd lost a bunch of weight and she had all these bracelets now obviously I understand not everyone can afford this but it's the symbolism and I feel like it the story was like for every I don't think it was five pounds I think it was every 10 pounds she lost she would get her a gold bracelet like a chain something probably 50 to 100 dollars she had the money her family had the money or whatnot but it was like a reminder to her slash she's blinging herself out um with all these gold bracelets i feel like i'm seeing like people from the 2000s and i'm like for you youngins who don't understand back in the day it used to be cool to have a bunch of bracelets on your wrist like going up to here <laughs> yeah so and that has to do with weight and i started thinking like maybe someone's old coping mechanism was literally like junk food or like i don't know maybe even like choosing to eat like even like child's children's food like you're eating mac and cheese and hot dogs and like it's just this comfort or returning to an old comfort Virgo, if it resonates, please let me know. Um, as always, you can always book a reading. If it doesn't resonate, that's all right. Just check out the other signs in your chart. If you need some help with that, there's a Minute to Meg video on um, what it means when I'm saying. Check out the other signs in your chart. Okay, let's struggle here. Well-mannered and polite. That is definitely a Virgo. Only friends. rose tinted glasses so right off the rip I just want to say I'm getting a same-sex feeling two females here who I'm like I'm seeing like two women out to lunch or out to brunch or <clears throat> something but one of them is wearing like funky glasses not just regular sunglasses they literally could look like flowers or they really could be rose tinted or like someone you're going for coffee with I'm really judging the shit out of you this they aren't the one for you job place or group it's not a person it's a job a place a group perception is your reality the weekend heartless energy and this is poking out bullying due to insecurities and issues Ending communication, connection with little to no closure, ghosting. Desperate housewife, heartless energy. <clears throat> All right, I'm getting really, really, um, that pop in my head honest to gosh I feel like Virgo <clears throat> you either are connected to or were connected to someone who really wanted to use or you felt they really just wanted to use you for sex I feel like this is someone who, um, I 
I feel like the, you're being pushed to have sex or like you're being asked to just have sex or like being hit up for sex and like I don't I don't think you like it or like you don't this isn't what you want this isn't you I feel like there may be a um, there's this misconception of who you are Rose-tinted glasses and perception is your reality. Someone is being viewed the wrong way or is being, um, or you're doing this, you're seeing someone the wrong way. It's like you're judging someone um, because you think that this is how they are but you're not seeing them correctly or they're not seeing you correctly. I feel like I'm looking at two people who are You may have already slept with this person or it's um I'm getting like this friends with benefits vibe or someone even I'm seeing DTF like being thinking that you are just down to fuck and like it's all set and it's over like that is their perception this is how you're being seen someone thinks that this is what you want or what you would want to do and um Oh, I just saw this a whole different way now. I started seeing people talking about either you, Virgo, or you and someone else, or I'm seeing people looking at each other and giving eyes and wondering, oh my God, are those two only friends? Because what it perceives to be is that there is some sort of sexual chemistry, tension something casual very sexy between like two people who it's like are you only friends you may have been this could be someone you're connected to and you were only you were seeing them with rose tinted glasses and your perception was what they were what you were being told is that they were only friends I feel like there's a group of people condoning an activity or something and they're actually really like judging whoever is doing it. <coughs> but you have this misconception of them. This is very kind of sad to me. To me it's like almost like Having faith and trust in a in a group of people it could be a family it could be a work situation it could be a group of friends it could be another couple um, but it's more than one person and starting to see something clearly starting to realize like they're n this place isn't in the best interest of me or these people aren't don't have my best interest I've been looking at this with rose-tinted glasses and perception is my reality and what I perceive is people judging the shit out of me and this is why you're not the ones that I'm meant to be around like you're my friends question mark you're so well-mannered and polite but they're really judging the shit out of you behind your back this is like turning to your friends or family and asking them for advice or telling them what's going on and they're like, oh, it's okay, you can do it. Whatever you're, 
is that what you're gonna do? Oh, that sounds like a good idea, good job. And then it's, they really don't actually feel that way. They're judging the shit out of you. But they've made you perceive that your reality is okay. What a weird message, Virgo. I think I just saw the High Priestess. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Yep. High Priestess, Pisces energy. I feel like I'm looking at the loss of something. It could be monetary. It could be a job. It could be, um, like I did see the, um, in the cards over here, I have a, in red, negative dollar signs. Like, Oh boy, Virgo. I feel like someone has made a big investment either in a place or a new beginning with someone. It, it's like they, they've lost a lot of money. There's been a big investment and they're, I don't think everybody knows how much of an investment has been here. And it's like there is, there, there's this feeling of like there's no turning back because I have nothing to turn back to because this is where I put all my investments. <clears throat> I keep wanting to say this could be with a person, nine of swords, and now you're like attached to this partner or person. Like this could have been your, um, like your partner or your family member or your spouse whatever it is, significant other, you really did not want to or have really been um, worried and anxious about the investment that you've agreed upon and now you are stuck here. You are stuck with it. This could be to buy a new car. This could be to build a new house. This could be to travel, to move. The Magician reversed, followed by the Queen of Swords reversed. I'm hearing like someone's like, almost like throwing a tantrum, like if I don't get what I want, I'm hitting the road, like, like this is happening whether you come or not. I'm also seriously seeing like a used car salesman. Someone is at the lot looking at cars, trying cars, and the person who is talking to you is being a salesman this could be a realtor <coughs> so we got <clears throat> cancer energy Pisces energy let me get one more from this Wow, and I already just saw this card. The um, Seven of Pentacles. This is someone's major investment, and there is no going back. Something definitely towards the end of June. I'm getting, like, seriously between the dates of, like, the 17th and on. So the better half of the end of June. to someone um, could have a daughter in dance classes or son or daughter in dance classes or yeah but um, there's something here again about being I don't want to say forced to make a decision but this keeps this gives me that car salesman vibe again like trying to get you to take that offer and you're not sure yet if you want to take that offer. I feel like someone needs to stick with where whatever there is, whatever is happening, 
you are stuck to it regardless but I think you need to stick with it because it's going to lead Let's, I just want to make sure it looks like it's going the right way on camera I want to say it's gonna to lead to fortune whatever this investment is whatever it could have been loaning someone money or it's going to um, come back but someone is very worried about this <clears throat> I'm hearing like nothing fucks with the Virgo more than finances not being aligned or like straight this is why someone could be returning to like some childhood coping mechanisms because they're feeling like they haven't been this broke since they were in college Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles, The Devil, Ten of Cups, Reverse, Five of Cups, Reverse. Someone is having a new beginning in life. I feel like um, I'm, here also, I'm here right now like going to rehab to address issues or um, maybe even going to AA meetings. Um, but someone has, has been offered and is taking this new beginning this new opportunity this once in a life lifetime someone could have been watching tarot readings or go gone to a tarot reader uh looking for guidance on this like definitely someone spiritual looking for insight asking for a, for a reading or like watching YouTube videos the magician reverse this is so peculiar but I just keep getting like going to like a tarot reader or a psychic and thinking or a gypsy I'm hearing or thinking that they're a gypsy and that they're just a used car salesman not believing what is being said because it's like very heartbreaking not wanting to believe this here's my high priestess again but someone is started high priestess she's not lying she knows i just got like leo energy because i was saying thinking lion so you could have been dealing with the leo or someone with leo in their chart but I feel like someone is lying to you, lying about what has been, what has been revealed or what has come out and what this person is saying that <clears throat> that's the devil, that's, that's not the truth. heavy tarot emphasis I keep staring at the words tarot in here it's like it's almost like there's someone watching all right like someone watching me and not believing wanting to believe what I'm reading in the cards and thinking I'm lying or making this up just to like say something or to come across as a type of way Six of Swords. The Hanged One. That's Pisces energy again. Pisces energy is very, very intuitive. <clears throat> Two of Swords. Four of Wands. I just, with that, thinking of um, very intuitive... I, I started thinking like someone like doesn't want to accept what has happened doesn't believe what has happened this is someone who may have like done something and it's like I don't even think it's a negative thing I think it's somewhat positive but they're like I can't freaking believe I did this I can't believe I did this or I was able to do this or that I'm doing it someone feels very 
pleased with themselves that they were able to accomplish something. But there is someone here with burdens that they carry with them. Heavy mental energy, six of swords, king of swords, and they're they're both next to um, the nine of swords. Someone definitely, definitely may have been caught sexting. Sexting, because I heard six, 69, and these are all, these are all signs to me of mental strife being caught and then having to wear the shame of what the things that were said. Like someone going to the tarot, a tarot reader or, or a tarot reader telling them like, you're being cheated on and it's like, it, it weighs on them what was told to them or what was said. There's air energy here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's, uh, the magician is Gemini, Aries energy. Um, here you are, Hermit reversed, which I've already said. I've seen the Hermit card a couple times. Two of Swords reversed. You are so worried. You are so worried if you made the right decision. I don't feel like you're giving it enough time, Virgo, whatever this is, because something it's something that began at the end of June. You're just not giving it enough time yet. You are so worried that it was a, the wrong decision and a, the wrong investment, but I just keep wanting to say, like, you need to give it time, and it will, it or the job or whatever you made the decision on, it will come around and get better and lead to fortune. He's got one pentacle there. He can't even fucking afford a car. He's riding a horse. It's going to lead to all those pentacles coming out of his hands, though. His or her hands. You just, someone here has to believe Someone doesn't think that they are strong enough. This may go back to perception is your reality. Like, someone may be worried, like, putting out the energy that this isn't the right one or this isn't the right job or this wasn't the right idea because that's your perception. But if you change your view and know that you are strong enough to accomplish and create on your own, if it is on your own, or with your family, you are able to do this. You have the strength to get to the Ten of Pentacles right here. I just think it's in reverse because someone is either fighting it, like fighting their destiny, or you don't believe that you have it in you to do this, Virgo. <clears throat> the star. You definitely do. I think this is... Um, what was my pre-message? Celebrating small accomplishments. This is my Virgo who's not going to be happy until they have the in-ground pool in. When you should be celebrating that you have the funds for the pool, that you have a family that you want to provide a pool for, that the foundation already got set, that you have a little shed set up that you can decorate already. Like, I'm not saying go out and party every celebration or buy yourself something. But whatever celebrating is to you. Celebrate all the victories and not just what you think you need to be doing. Until, like, whatever you think you need and then be considered successful, you need to still enjoy the ride and have, like, enjoy yourself and celebrate all the things that you do. There's something here about needing to have faith in yourself. There's definitely something here of a transition or moving on, leaving past something in the past, definitely. He's leaving swords behind in this card. They were with them at the beginning of the journey. 
You have everything you need to step into your power or you are stepping in into your power. There's Aries energy here again. But there's this secret, I think, fear. I think there's a secret fear of um, poverty or like not being able to provide And that's where your your reality is right, right now. That's what you're perceiving. When really you are like not far from emperor level if you aren't already there. Making things happen. Doing it. You're just terribly, terribly worried along the way. <clears throat> And if someone could just chill out and have faith and understand that happiness, success, good fortune, everything it is that you're working forward, <clears throat> that you're moving towards, there's even something there about moving. So this could be travel, you could have traveled, you could have moved. It could be some, uh, something where you are doing moving and traveling. Believe that it will get there. But someone, oh, ho, 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 ho. Someone so wholeheartedly just has to keep pouring into themselves first and foremost. First and foremost. Because it's there. The Ten of Cups is there. The happiness, what you're working towards. You are just here right now. The Nine of Cups. You are one step away from the Ten of Cups and you are in control of it. You just have to keep believing in yourself. So much of this speaks to believing in yourself, slaying your own thoughts and anxieties because you have the power to do so, Virgo. I think I'm just gonna title this like stick, stick to the plan or um, believe in yourself because Believe in yourself, stick to the plan, and make sure you're celebrating all the little victories on the way towards the goal. 